everybody it is your boy twin plays here back with a video hope you're all doing amazing um if you're new to my channel or if you're watching this and you're brand new to my channel welcome um this tutorial is a quick tutorial on how to make a roblox game your very first roblox game um you don't need to watch this if you already know how to but i'm gonna go in step to you to talk about how to make a game what you can do and what there is on roblox out here um as you guys as you can tell already i'm in my own game right now um this is one of the games i just created um, and you know, there's a lot of things you can do on Roblox, you guys, whether that's RPG simulators, tycoons, any of that stuff. But yeah, so, you know, um, do what you need to do, uh, feel free, be creative and do things that you want to do, but welcome if this is your first video and I'm going to explain to you how this really works and how you can make a game. It's super easy. You guys, this is why I love Roblox. Um, but yeah, so let's actually hop over to a little website real quick. All right, so this is actually going to be under uh, create.roblox.com.landing. And as you can tell, this is the main website. Um, you can make anything you imagine by starting creating. And um, it shows you all the powerful games, um, everything you need to uh, learn about Roblox Studio. Um, and you have everything out here. It's super nice. There's so much about this, you guys, that you're going to love. Um, documentation, um, all this stuff. Now, um, documentation, there's some cool stuff, but I'm going to show you. So first things you're going to do is you're going to hit this button, okay? And this is going to download the game for you. Download the studio for you, okay? So once you download this, and it should be coming into here or whatever, you know, whatever you download, um, oh, feel free to download Roblox Studio, and we're going to hop right into there, okay? So when you download Studio, it should bring you up to this whole thing like this. Now, um, it's not too hard to understand, but they have their own pregame sets to you. So if you want to make your own games, they have little sets for you already. Um, I honestly, in my opinion, it's fun to just mess with these. Like, it's fun to go in a racing game and just clicking around and messing with things. Super easy. Um, so honestly, if we want, we could go in there and let's do that. But as you can tell, there's theme, there's gameplays. And then, of course, on the left, sorry, my screen's in the way. But you have the new and then my games, recent, archive, and tour. Um, tour is a great way to learn the fundamentals. So I recommend doing that if you want to learn about Roblox Studio itself. Um, but of course, these are my games, group games, and shared with me, which later on you'll learn that these are uh, specifically for groups and, you know, when people share games with you, things like that. But let's click a template right now, okay? Let's click this racing game. So when you click this button, it's going to bring you into a template, a game template. Now, your game template is your own thing, and there's a lot of things you can do. Now, um, I'm going to quickly explain to you that... Um, Moving around, stuff like that is WASD and all that. And um, you can look around by holding your right mouse button and stuff like that while you're moving. So that's really nice. Um, but there's a lot of stuff, you guys. And it's kind of hard to get really explaining everything. But we have the Explorer. Um, we have the Properties, the Output, the Main Game Place, um, Toolbox, all this stuff on the right. Um, all these fancy tools. So you might be a little confused. But how do we upload it? How do we get our game published? Let's talk about that first. So you can go to file and normally when you save your game or publish, so there's a few things you can save it or you can publish it, right? When you save it, it's going to be saved so that when you come back to the game, you're able to play it, whatever you, um, you're able to have it to where you last saved. Although it's not published to the server. So people don't see what you've been saving all that. But when you hit publish, it's going to publish to Roblox. So when you hit publish to Roblox as, you know, I have all these games. I'm going to create a new game right here. Okay. And you can name this whatever you want. And then you go to description and then you go to creator is me unless you have a group which you probably don't yet and then you name it whatever you want to do so car racing game and then of course um devices uh just leave it the same and then team create you can turn it off for now you don't need to worry about that and then you hit create so once you hit create it should say that it was published and all that um now i'm going to talk about these tabs right here so the home tab is the one tab that has literally everything that you need in it the play button the move so if you want to move things like this um, and then the scale button, the rotate button. Now in model tab, there's also more in here. So this is able for you to do more stuff. So if you want to like insert a, a part, you can do that. You can insert a starter part just like this. Um, and then of course, if you want to do avatar, there's avatar stuff that's later. Um, testing, if you want to test by yourself and do two players, you can do that. Now the view tab is very nice. Um, so if you don't have any of these, um, what I recommend is going into the view tab and checking like output, click that. Um, that's for scripting. Um, you have a little team create. You have a toolbox. I have mine kind of set up like this because I like it. Um, and then, of course, you can move it around. But Explorer and Properties is perfect right here, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, so everything in here is an object, okay? So we have folders. We have all this stuff. Now, 
I'm going to explain to you, and then plugins, of course, that's the main thing. I'm going to explain to you kind of how this works. So right now, this is an object, right? And it is in this workspace, okay? So this is a, um, a service right here. These are all services. So how this works is workspace is your game itself. So everything in workspace here, everything I'm looking at right now is in workspace. This is what we're looking to look at. This is terrain and stuff. But um, everything in here, you know, we got folders and stuff. You see this little right arrow? If you click that, you can see all the things they have in this game, which is really, really nice. Um, uh, what you can add to the game. So if I want to do a part, I could. So as you can tell, we have VFX, we have all this stuff. Um, we have spawn car over here. So this is really cool. I honestly haven't really played what Roblox has made for us, but uh, really cool. You got kiosks. It's all in folders. And you can name things by going into the properties, which you can learn later about how they are really used, but they have names and everything. So feel free to do that. So like if I wanted to get a part, right? Okay, like I just hit insert this part. Um, I could name this part, uh, let's say circle or, you know, whatever circle, when I say circle, but, um, and then there's colors you can do. So whatever color I want, I can do red material. I could do anything I want. So I want to do like a, maybe a marble or I could go neon, which is cool. Um, and then you have all these little buttons now anchored is one thing you want to look at. Um, anchored is making it so it will always stay where it is. Um, it never falls. Now you got to remember there is gravity in this game, in this game. So that's one thing. Um, can collide makes it so I don't collide with it. So that's another thing. Can touch is something you'd use in scripts. But um, yeah, so if I turn this anchored off, honestly, I could play and move it around, actually. Um, I should probably just call this a, a ball instead. Um, now, there's a lot of controls and commands you can do. I mean, if you do Control D, I can just duplicate it just like that. Um, so that's really nice. And then I can go colors again. I can go like a green. I can go like a blue. Just like that. Um, all the things you can do and if you want to select all of these you can go like this or you can just do that and then hold control down just like this and go duplicate again now you want to model something you want to make it into a model so this is what a model is right here it has everything inside of it so you do command uh, control d or you can just do group and uh basically it makes it a model so now we can say balls and then um you can you know now duplicate all the balls if you want to do that so now it makes it and lets you duplicate all of them you want to make more you can just group it again and then do it all again so it's all kind of the same thing like that so i'm gonna have these just i'll get rid of one of them but yeah so um it's 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 kind of cool how you look around and kind of look around at things and you might be so confused at first but let's just say we play the game right now so if i click that play button it's gonna spawn us in see how my balls were ankled so uh anchored so you know we can't do that but okay so this is a proximity prompt we're going to talk about but look so you're testing right now see how this says stop now, if I hit client, this is going to take me to the server. So, it's going to show me what it's like outside. And this is going to have my person on it. But, let's say, okay. So, I hit spawn car. Oh, this is really cool. I never got to see this. So, I'm going to drive it. Um, so, let me turn this down for you guys. Hear this. Oh, this is really cool. They got a new thing. So, we have nitro. Whoa, these are like nice cars too. Um, Yeah, so, basically, we got cameras. Oh, that's awesome. Basically, you know... You're testing a game out. This is how you test your game. So this is our bunch of scripting, all that stuff. So it's really nice. Um, this is really nice, actually, a little template. I never even saw this. Uh, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so, you know, when you look at this stuff, you can, like, really, like, test it out and stuff. And then, of course, when you're done, you can just hit stop. And it'll clean it up for you, and you'll be done. Um, and then, of course, if you want to delete things, you just delete it. Um, but yeah, it, it's nice to also get in the mood of organizing, but workspace, um, I didn't really get to explain. So players is where the players are tested. There's nothing in here, but when you play the game, you'll be in there. You have lighting. So if you want to mess with the lighting outside of your game, like I want to make this brighter, it's going to change stuff. Um, it's really cool. You can do a lot of stuff with this. If I want to make it red, you see how it's kind of changing the colors. Um, really cool. Um, you got like atmosphere, sky, bloom, sun rays, all that stuff. Really nice. Uh, material service, you don't need to worry about that for now. Uh, replicate first, replicate storage. Um, these are all great for um, remotes and stuff, which you know looks like as you can sell stuff is in here. Server script service is where you normally insert scripts. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of scripts in here, which you know this is probably confusing to you if this is your first time, so don't be worried about that. Um, server storage, uh, starter GUI, this is where you can play, you can see little GUIs on your screen. Um, so if I wanted to create one, I could just go screen GUI, I could add a frame, and boom, I have a little frame on my screen. So it's pretty simple. Um, starter pack, 
do you want to get people tools and they want to insert stuff like okay we have a rocket launcher okay, that doesn't have any tools in it so we got a sword right it's gonna say do you want to insert this in your starter pack yes so now when i play the game um i have a little sword that i'm always gonna have on me um so things like that and you can do like can be dropped off stuff like that um so really cool now um when it comes to other things you know building all that stuff uh i mean i kind of really didn't explain that well too well but um, you can always scale things up. You can always make them the way you want to do. I think it's really cool how this works. But um, like I said, scaling works. Um, normally models, when you scale them together, it's going to uh, scale them the same size. This is so cool. Um, but yeah, so it's really cool to look at kind of stuff like this. As you can tell, we got like little screw, little stuff you can do. Um, you can move things around. I can rotate them if I want to do like control D, uh, command T. Uh, that just rotates things around, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, um, so it's really nice to look at this stuff. So I hope you guys kind of understand how that works. But once you publish a game, you're good. Now, if you want to understand how a local script and a server script works, I can explain that to you real quick. So right now we have a server script, right? So this is with the server. So basically what a server script does is a script, I guess you could say. If you want to make one, you just search up script. And there's module scripts as well. What it does is it allows you to work with the server. That means everyone in the server. So you got players, you get everything like that. And um, it allows you to work with the server and everyone inside of it, which is really nice. And um, it's very helpful. So, um, you know, if I want to get the players in the game, I could do uh, game dot, uh, yeah, game dot players dot player added. Okay. And then connect function and player. So when a player joins, um, there's also code assist, which is kind of nice. Um, so honestly, if I wanted to use Roblox AI, which is very nice, you could say, um, get me a player named Twin Flames Dev and make his walk speed 25, 35. And then, uh, sometimes it works. <laughs> All right. Well, right now that doesn't work. Oh, well, is it working? I don't know why this is being weird, but either way, you know, and then when you get, you could go get player dot character appearance loaded. So you want to wait for the character to get loaded. Um, so like I said, this is on the server side. So basically, um, I am grabbing everyone in the server. So then I could check. Okay, so yes, he already has something right here for me, but no. Um, so and I could check if player, uh, oh yeah, if player dot name equals, and then I could go to plays dev. Then I want to print to the server is the owner. Printing is a great way to debug things and look at stuff. But as you can tell, I hit play. Um, boom, I loaded in and it said he's the owner because that's my name. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Um, now for scri uh, local scripts, depending on what you do, you know, normally you use that for like starter GUI stuff. So as you can tell, there's uh, some stuff in here. I don't know where if they have any starter GUI stuff. Um, they should have local scripts, but um, either way, um normally you put local scripts for just allowing the player to see it and only that player um, which is really really nice um and you can use that for a lot of stuff but yeah so really cool you guys you can really look at this place and you can see what they have looks like they already have some like little things for you so if you want to build um you can even make your own little builds um it's kind of hard to explain you know how to connect and stuff but it's best you use the moving tools and things like that and they normally have like a collision thing so you see how it has that little dot right there it's just automatically working for me so i could go like this i could go one more oh i already did it i could go again and then bam um and then i could get rid of this and you know do whatever i want to do um you know so it's it's really up to you guys just be creative with it um, there's a lot you can do with this and if you want to rotate things like I was saying um, go up like this um, oh that's cool and you know make a little uh, thing um, sometimes it's nice to just you know do things that are a little different but um, yeah so then I can go up um, go like this a little connect it um, and then you gotta make sure it's a little lower just so the tires don't touch it but um, yeah so you can go like that and when it goes off, it's going to grab that. But yeah, so, you know, mess around. Do what you want to do. But yeah, and then when you publish this, uh, it should just have you do game settings. And there's a lot of stuff you can change to it. So, like, if I were to load into a different place, which I'm going to talk about, um, when you get new games, uh, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. But 
say I loaded into this game right here. Um, you know, so I hit game settings. There's all these cool little things. So you can set a description. If you want to set up ages, a uh, game icon, screenshots, video, thumbnails, all that. Permissions, you can make it public. Um, I should probably make it private. <laughs> um, and then, of course, uh, you know, you have communication, monetization, security, places, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, feel free to mess around, you guys. I just wanted to give you a little quick introductory to Roblox Studio. I hope you did enjoy this little tiny tutorial. Um, and if you have any questions or want to start building, start watching my videos and... Um, I explain a lot on how to build the stuff, so it's really nice. But um, yeah, use your toolbox to your advantage is what I can tell you. Um, I will see you guys in the next video.